Hi everybody, Dave Yellowwick with Homes Built Right. We're going to Florida. Well, kinda. We're, uh, we're gonna go to the peninsula. Talk about what's new with the National Electric Code. We'll be right back. Hi everybody, and welcome back. Dave Yellowwick with Homes Built Right. Um, we're in another house under construction. Last time, if you remember, we introduced the idea of the 2020 National Electric Code, the NEC, if you will. Uh, we talked about islands and how to figure out how many outlets you're going to need for an, an island in the 2020 code. Well, the same rules apply for a peninsula. A peninsula, kind of like Florida, is something I can walk around on three sides. Um, it's not an island that I can go around all four sides, so it's attached to a wall at one end. In this kitchen, We've got the end wall, end of the peninsula on, over here, and it wraps around, comes over to here, and this is the base wall, right here where it connects. That's where the code says we start our dimensions. So in this particular house, if I start over here at the base wall and measure to the end of the peninsula, it's eight feet long. I also happen to know that it's three and a half feet deep. Three and a half feet times eight feet that's uh, three and a half. That's 28 square feet. So just like an island, we're going to subtract nine square feet for our first outlet from 28. That'll leave 19 square feet. Oh, this will be interesting. Now we've got to take 18 square feet into 19. So it's going to be very, very close. So it's one point, very small. But the code says that I have to have two outlets because it's any fraction thereof above that 18 square feet. So 19 square feet would require two plus the one for the nine square feet. So there's three outlets required on this peninsula behind me. So again, where they go, that's up to the designer and where they could fit. One more quick note about peninsulas. The code also says that there's one, one rule that we got to apply though. For the end of a peninsula, we have to have an outlet within two feet of this end of the peninsula. I could have it on the face if the design allows me, or I could put it on the side. But again, the rule of overhangs applies to that outlet. If this one, like this has got a five inch overhang. So the code says I can put an outlet underneath here on the side if I don't have more than a six inch overhang. So I can still put one on the side of this even though I've got a five inch overhang. So close, but uh, we can still do it. So remember that on a peninsula within two feet, We've got to have an outlet at the end, and then the others can be distributed somewhere around the, the peninsula. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you on the next Homes Built Right.